This is what happens when you record back-to-back -back vlogs. Hey guys, it's Lucas. Today I'm going to share with you guys my favorite places to eat, my favorite shows, and my favorite attractions, at least that I have been to in Branson. So if you are looking for some ideas, maybe this YouTube video could help you out. So I also hope that everybody's having a great week. Um, I'm so excited to film this video, actually. It's so crazy because uh, the other day I was like YouTubing, like, or Googling, like, best videos for, like, uh, vlogs. And um, something to talk about, like, your favorite restaurants or your favorite foods to eat. That's what gave me the idea. So um, sometimes when I need to brainstorm, that's when I have the most blank brain possible. But when I'm, like, out and driving around, I start thinking of stuff. I need to carry one of those, like, mini notepads and a pen and just write down my ideas every time I have one. So, anyways, let's go ahead and get on into the into the video. So, these I'm going to go ahead and start with... Um... Okay, hang on. Okay, so these recommendations are going to be based on my experiences at shows, restaurants, and other places around the Branson area. I might, you know, talk about some of my experiences there, whether they be good or bad, but this is supposed to be the best places, so I'm going to try to kind of stick with there, and I might, um, with the restaurants and stuff, give you guys a general idea of what I've eaten from there, uh, what maybe I might recommend for you guys to try there. So, uh... Anyways, so let's start with number one. Uh, this is probably one of the first places that I ate at uh, within the first year or so of living here. Um, it's Longhorn Steakhouse on 76. I believe it's... No, it's not across the street from the Clay Cooper Theater. I'm trying to think of where it is at, but I can't place it at the moment. can't place it on the strip. There are so many places... That, like, I literally combine everything. I mix them all up. And it's just like, yeah. Uh, okay. So, anyways, Longhorn Steakhouse. I've been there twice in the seven years that I've lived here. I've had both a ribeye and a New York strip. New York strips are the best. Ribeyes are, too. I feel like ribeyes have the most juice in them. But, to be honest with you, whatever steak has the most fat, I'll take it because that's the juiciest. And the fat off of any steak is literally the best part of any steak. Anyways, um, we're going to go ahead and just move on. <laughs> uh, then Actually, and to, to go back to that, like, I have been to a lot of places in the Ozarks area to get a steak. And, you know, um, I'll eat my steaks either medium rare to medium well. Um... And I've never had my steak once have, well, in the two times that I've been there, have to be sent back to be recooked or, you know, cooked the way that I asked it to be. I can't eat a, a well-done steak. It's too, too tough um, and less juicy, in my opinion. But anyways, who eats steak well done anyways? So, um, but yeah, I definitely recommend Longhorn Steakhouse if you're looking for a good steak. Um, <clears throat> also, Ruby Tuesdays is a good place to go. Um, I kind of get a mixture of things there, but my favorite thing there is their salad bar. Um, so highly recommend that. And I think they have like a salmon and shrimp thing meal. It's been a lot of while since I've eaten there, but I've never had a bad experience. Excuse me, in the amount of times that I've actually been there. Great service, great food. And it's probably one of the few places that I've been to where they constantly check on you having a full house. It's um, their customer service and hospitality is it's kind of like eating at home. <laughs> um, now, one of my favorite places, now I think it's probably one of my family's favorites um, because me, John, my dad and grandma, and when James was here too, we would go to Cakes and Creams. Uh, we call it the 50s Diner. Which I think, I think we get that because of the, the the theme of the inside and the outside. It's such a cool place. Um, I always get the, I think it's Philly cheesesteak sandwich or something. That's to die for. Um, 
ask have them put pepper jack cheese on it and melt it. it yes to die for um they also um it's kind of a toss up between silver dollar city and uh, cakes and creams but i think that they have one of the best uh you know go quick and grab a funnel cake uh in branson so highly recommend them if you want a really good funnel cake um I'm just going to list off a few places, not go deep into them, but uh, Famous Dave's is good for uh, barbecue. They have really good barbecue family feasts. I think they have good barbecue anyways. Um, and then Godfather's Pizza. I think that buffet is are great if you're coming with a big family. You know, you kind of uh, all you can eat. They've got a buffet. Uh, like I said, they have a buffet and they've got pizza. They've got a salad bar and they even have like a little area where there's like fried chicken. Oh my gosh, they have the best fried chicken. I'm just, some of the best, anyways. Um, Grand Country, I think, might be the one place that tops them and have them the best. But highly recommend Godfather's, and you don't have to eat the buffet either. You can you can just order a pizza or you know whatever you might want. Uh, I also recommend Cracker Barrel, uh, Red Lobster. We tend to go there to celebrate our birthdays a lot. So uh, Golden Corral is pretty good here, but if you're looking for a really good home style, like comfort food type buffet, the Grand Country Buffet is the one that I recommend. My family and I frequent that place and they have these like sweet corn nuggets. Oh my goodness. Sometimes I believe that is the only reason that I go to the Grand Country Buffet is because I'll start to crave those. Like, man, those sound really good. And then I end up there eating. Uh, and they also make homemade mashed potatoes. So if you're a huge mashed potatoes fan, homemade. Um, I don't know very many buffets that actually make homemade mashed potatoes. Um, you may wonder how I know that. Well, there's always lumps of potatoes in there, and I've always, I've always learned throughout my whole life that if there's lumps of potatoes, that's how you know that they're homemade. Um, uh, now if you are willing to drive a little bit outside of Branson. I would recommend uh, Lambert's Cafe. So Y'all should experience that at least once in your lifetime and make sure your reflexes are good and hopefully you can catch because they throw rolls at you. And I just think that that's the funnest part about all of it. But they actually have great food. Um, we went there last year for John's birthday and um, everybody seemed to enjoy it. And I've always enjoyed their, their barbecue. They, they have a good barbecue. Um, now... Uh, if you're looking for Mexican food, however, I can recommend uh, the Little Hacienda. I think that's on Shepherd of the Hills. I call it. It's up on a hill. Really great food. And if you order guacamole, they make it right in front of you. It's so cool. Um, and Botana Premier Mexican Restaurant. Highly recommend them as well. They're located on the Strip. Of... I can't think of where they're at either. I think they're across the street from the Extreme Racing go-kart track. At least I think that's the name of the, the go-kart track. Track. Now, let's move into the best shows in Branson. Now, I have a feeling that 95% of you are already going to know my number one choice, my number one recommendation, and my number one pick is going to be the Branson's Famous Bald Mobber. Now, they return to the stage over at the Hughes Brothers Theater this year. There's going to be a new comedian, which they just announced. I think his name is... Oh. Pause. Just one second. I'll figure out his name. All right. So um, it looks like the new comedian's name is Paul May, a.k.a. Mayhem. It looks like that a lot of people may recognize him from the Redneck Comedy Bus Tour in Branson. And he's also been featured on Dry Bar Comedy. I'm just reading that from the Branson Samus Ball Dombers Facebook page. But yes, they will be back March 8th over at the Hughes Brothers Theater on the Strip. Um, yes, they are at a new home this year. So make sure you guys catch them. They, they put on the best country show. Um, they touch a little bit in the vintage, you know, country area, uh, classic country and, you know, con country that is out today. And they even throw, you know, from time to time, some Whitney Houston and some Adele, and they add a little rock to their country. 
Highly recommend their show. Um, man, we've been friends with them for almost a couple of years now, and we've been going to their show for the last three or four years. Um, that was the show that before my dad got sick, we fell in love with, and we just always wanted to go to. Something we'd never get sick of, and let me tell you, I do not, because mo we always buy our season passes at the Bald Knobbers, and we're there most every week, at least two to three times a week. Great people, great show, great atmosphere, and it's a great family show as well. They'll keep you laughing all night, that's for sure. Um, and if you're... So now moving on to... Uh, I'm so happy I could talk about this because there used to be a Beatles tribute that had a home at the Caravelle Theater. And then I think uh, that was when COVID hit, so there really wasn't any shows. And then when things came back, they were at the Andy Williams Theater, and now they're not there anymore. They're just touring. They don't have a permanent home in Branson. But in honor of celebrating the Beatles' 60th anniversary, wow, 60 years. That's crazy. Anyway, 60th anniversary they will be at the american bandstand theater for the whole month of june uh celebrating the beatles 60th anniversary um so if i didn't state the name of the band it's the liverpool legends um a lot of you guys may have heard of them they're pretty popular uh very talented beatles tribute band around the world um i grew up with a few of the members seems like i know a bit of the members from different tributes throughout my life and they've all been, they're, they're all very friendly, very good people, and um, they can definitely put on probably one of the best Beatles tribute acts that I've, that I've ever seen in my whole 28 years of life. And my first concert was a Beatles tribute. Funny enough, uh, one of the members of this group was in that band at the time when I went and seen them. Um, I'll post a picture, like showing you a picture with Marty when I... Uh, it was like 25 or 26, and then I'll show you a picture. If I still have it, I think there's one on my desktop somewhere of me with Marty when I was like eight years old. It's crazy. Uh, crazy. Anyways, let's go ahead and move on. Um, another show that I would highly recommend in the town. Also, backtracking to the Hughes Brothers Theater. I've seen their show once or twice. Highly recommend it. Huge family, and they are all super talented. I think there's like seven shows over at that theater completely and i believe you can buy season passes so maybe give them a call and uh definitely get in there for a show sometime anyways coming back to where we were um so this is the first show i seen when we moved into branson um we were asked by some people i don't want to remember i'm just kidding uh family that i don't claim uh they asked if we wanted to go uh i'm just kidding by the way if we wanted to go to a show because they were doing area like local area appreciation and i was like sure why not like i don't like i have anything planned at the current moment so my very first show in branson in june may or june of 2017 was the duttons over at the dutton family theater i i highly 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 recommend going to see their show went and seen it once i was hooked um we typically would go see their show every week, too, but we haven't really, like, kind of just stuck to the bald knobbers this year, it seemed like, but it, they they put on a fantastic show this year. We went for my grandma's birthday back in October, and um, they still do not disappoint. Very, very talented family, and I believe that a lot of their kids are coming home, so some of them may be back in the show starting next year, which, or this year. Uh, I'm, I still got to get used to that this year and i'm so excited because like i said everybody in that family is super talented and you'll get hooked too um now uh the next show that i'd like to recommend so these guys are over at the i think it's the american bandstand theater as well which is six um i think they're called the six show is how you can find them look researching them or looking them up um they put on a fabulous show um they don't like have a band or anything on stage they don't use instruments they basically what i'd like to say beatbox they create the instrument sounds that their their voices or their voice boxes super talented great show and super fun as well they're, they're pretty funny guys too i have to um and jumping on into the next so if you are a huge elvis presley fan 
Um, a couple of years ago, my dad and I went to go see Dean Z, uh, Elvis Presley tribute in Branson. He, I don't know if he's there this year, but um, from what I read, he's going to be. But he's normally over at the Clay Cooper Theater, um, so you can check him out probably on Facebook or the Clay Cooper Theater's website, I assume. But wow, that man can play like thirty thousand instruments, <laughs> and uh, he's. I have seen a few Beatles tributes throughout my life, and I've seen a lot online. And he, he, I, I believe that if you were to play Elvis's record next to his record, you wouldn't really be able to tell the difference in who it is. So, highly recommend them. Uh, also, if you're a Frankie Valley fan, um, the New Jersey Knights at the King Castle Theater, great, 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 great show. Um, I'm a huge Frankie Valley fan, so. Uh, and if I didn't say there, it's the uh, New Jersey Knights. They basically do the story of Frankie Valley and the. Um. Goodness. Okay. So, uh, close to last. The one, two more shows that I'm going to recommend to you guys, or actually three. I am going to recommend Pierce Arrow. Wow, they have a phenomenal comedian. If you have not seen James Sibley, go to the Pierce Arrow Theater this year and do so because not only do they play some of the greatest hits they have a country show and also a show called the decades where they focus around like 60s 70s 80s classic rock and i think that they throw a little bit of 90s into that show as well but i believe that they have one of the best comedians in town and since my favorite comedian just retired uh he's definitely uh phenomenal phenomenal comedian he will keep you laughing it's uh, most of the time when I go to their show, I cry, I laugh so hard that I cry. It's you know, funny. Uh, but also, go check out Doug Gabriel. He puts on a great show as well. And Rick Thomas, if you're into uh, magic. Um, and most importantly, the guy that I consider my bonus dad and a great friend um, is Dan Keaton. Now, you can go catch him even now. Well, you can't catch him right now, but every Friday at 9 p.m. Central Standard Time, Dan Keaton, you can catch him at the Four Seasons in Jazz Lounge, and he uh, covers the music. Um, he even does originals, um, but he, they have really wonderful staff. They're so kind. They're always asking you if you need anything. Um, they have really comfortable seating. And it's Kind of like one of those places you want to go sit and maybe chill when you come into town. You don't like when you're, you've been driving all day, you come into Branson and you don't really want to go do much. This would be a nice, relaxing place for you to come hang out and maybe uh, listen to some music, dance a little bit, you know. Uh, but he covers the music uh, starting from like Andy Williams, Michael Bublé, Nat King, uh, Nat King Cole, blah, blah, blah. Dean Martin, Frank Frank Sinatra, and more. Highly recommend catching his show. And you can even catch his shows during the off-seasons. Right now, we're in the off-season in Branson. Um, but you can still catch him in January and February and throughout the whole year. So, highly recommend. They have shows on Fridays and Saturdays. Um, but you'd have to check out their Facebook page, which I'll leave the links for probably most of this stuff down below in the description. If I forget any, you can easily search them and you'll find them. Um, and one last thing, if, if, if The Outer Limits, you can find their Facebook page uh, by searching The Outer Limits, which is a duo band um, of Ashley uh, Dawn and Shane Van Camp. I, if they have a show going on while you guys are here, I definitely recommend um, going and catching them. Uh, definitely really talented people, and Ashley has one of the best vocal voices in this town, um, or in the world even. Um, she does a wonderful cover of Tennessee Whiskey, and I prefer that version over, uh, Chris Stapleton's. All right, so those are definitely some shows that I would highly recommend. I know I listed quite a bit, so I'll try to make this next, uh, this next area quick, uh, which is just me. I haven't really been to a lot of attractions in Branson because, well... I just don't go to them. I, you know, prefer to go to shows or, you know, go eat some really good food and then go to a show. But um, we're going to move on to attractions. Now, the number one 
I've never been to White River, but it looks fun, and I may be 28, almost 29. One day, I will go there in my child side. Childish side will come out, okay? Um, the number one attraction that I recommend in Branson, I'm sure you all already know, is Silver Dollar City. It is such a fun place. You don't run out of things to do. And to be honest with you, if you're a roller coaster fan, you can go on the time traveler over and over again, and you probably won't get sick of it. Um, it's fun roller coaster. They have amazing food there as well. Lots of places, lots of food to choose from. Um, they also serve Mr. Pib. So uh, that's not where I go if I want Mr. Pib. But if you do want Mr. Pib, that's the place to go. <laughs> I like Mr. Pib. It's really good. Um, and I definitely, if you're coming around like Christmas or uh, Halloween time, definitely go out there and see because, wow, they decorate that place. And I'm pretty sure that they, you probably can't count the amount of lights and decorations they have out there. It would take you too long. It would probably take you more than a couple of days to do that. But then again, if you're doing that, you have way too much time on your hands and you're not doing enough in Branson. Anyways, uh, and if you are into like, Cool museums and stuff. I highly recommend Ripley's Believe It or Not Museum. There's some really cool stuff in there. Um, they have like this. Uh, I'm trying to think, is it a gorilla? I don't know. They make a lot of things out there. Like there's a car made of pennies. Um, well, not made of pennies, but like it's like its paint job is basically pennies all the way around it. Um, and I believe I believe it is a gorilla made out of like tires. Uh, that doesn't sound right, but it does sound right at the same time. Uh, definitely a pretty cool place. Now, um, the last thing that I'll recommend for attractions, or two last things, is any of the go-kart tracks or mini golf tracks, there's so many to choose from here, definitely go out there and have some fun. My family and I, when my dad was here, we would go play mini golf a lot. It's, uh, very fun if you like they get competitive in a fun way. Um, just don't smash anything. I watched an episode of 911 the other day and this guy got mad and smashed, you know, thing at uh at a mini golf course and it did not end well. Anyways, actually, one last thing. Go to Top of the Rock Branson. If you love nature and just scenery in general, that place is beautiful. Some of my favorite sceneries to go out and see is waterfalls. I just think waterfalls are so so beautiful, so relaxing and so calming. It might have something to do with the fact that I lived in Idaho for quite a few years, and man, the place is so beautiful there. But anyways, you guys, I hope that you this video helped you in any way to plan any sort of maybe trips or vacation that you may have planned when you come to Branson this year. Uh, so if it did find you some help, let me know down in the comments if you go to any of those attractions, and, or if you've even been there before, and let me know your thoughts on those places. Um, if you guys made it this far, please consider smashing that like button and subscribing. It is free. It doesn't cost you anything. It just shows me some support and I look forward. Maybe you guys will enjoy my, the other contents that are on my channel. Um, anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching and I'm so glad I got to share my favorite places with you guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.